Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So today we're going over to um, the good people at Blue Monkey Brewery based in Gilbrook on the Nottinghamshire Derbyshire border for a beer review from them. Uh, just over a year ago they started going into craft beer, um, started doing a lot more small batch releases and you know I was quite excited for them. Um, Little did we know we were getting into the cost of living crisis, and it's been a tough, tough year to to develop and grow. I still think, personally, that we need to see more of the craft beers in their own pubs and out there, and even a craft beer bar um, would be an amazing thing. Is it the right time to open such an establishment? Wow, that's for better people than me. Someone who have a business had. I can't even get a bloody car to work. So, um, But anyway, this is their latest release. I got it from adventurebeer.co.uk. It's their Mosaic Session Pale Ale. 4.3%. I'm being a good boy these days. Drinking low ABV beers. Yeah, it's nearly, it's nearly, it's nearly alcohol free. So the hops are Magnum, Centennial, Cascade and Simcoe. Um, it doesn't really tell you anything else. Um, if I was being a critique, and not being you know anything other than a slight critique, a little bit of sea small taste would have been might have been a good idea on that. Because um, a lot of people don't know what, what things are. And uh, it does help. Oh, lovely tropical nose on there. Right, let's pour it out. I think this has had a rebrew, so um, it may be that it's one of their successful beers. Um, and there we go. We can see a slight hazy pour. Um, what colour would you class that as? This is the problem with bloody colours. It's, it's really hard to class anything. I would go with a, like a straw to gold pour. Um, bear in mind, two finger end, but that's my pouring. You know, it's never the best. Um, half the time, I just try and mix it up. It's nice to be back on some local beers. After doing supermarket beers, and having some that are really good and some that are really rough, it's nice to be back on good stuff. So, here we are. Blue Monkey, um, at the recent Robin Hood Beer Festival, they smashed it out of the park for me. There was a good mix of cask and craft. First time I've seen craft from them at the beer festival, unless they, unless they did last year, and I was totally oblivious. But problem with drinking beer, you know, you see stuff and then you forget. And uh, so, big apologies there if I forgot. But yeah, you can see the hay, slight haze on there. I'm loving the fact that they're trying different styles of beer all the time. Um, like I say, I, I do. Maybe maybe where the pubs are based, it's difficult for Blue Monkey to have craft on the bar. And and maybe a, a craft beer bar. But again, like I've already said, it's very difficult at this moment in time to uh, pursue that. The only way of doing it, really, is to send craft beer. And maybe do, um, now if I'm talking directly to Blue Monkey, maybe a bit of a craft beer takeover at somewhere like uh, the Crown Inn at Beeston, which already does already have one Blue Monkey beer on the bar all the time anyway. Uh, that would be interesting. Uh, even during the winter months, I think it'd be a good thing. Um, maybe a Meet the Brewer event as well. Um, that's if anybody from Blue Monkey watches these. Um, that I don't know. And, uh, you know, it's... You can't presume that anybody from any brewery watches any of your beer reviews. You know, a lot of breweries hate beer reviewers. I understand that. I do. I do. So, a nice tropical nose on this. I'll let the air get to it a minute or two. Or four minutes. Oh, it's got a bit of bite to it. Super easy drinking. It's very light. 
Um, quite a nice, long-lasting um, flavour. I can't pick out anything that you know on, on the on on the flavour side, apart from being tropical. I can't pick out anything that says, "Yeah, I, I'm peach or I'm mango or something." At the moment, anyway. I do feel that with beer, or beer, that it needs to be slightly warmer. Keg beer is too cold for me. Cask beer needs to let the air get to it. And I, and I say this, and, I, and I've been there on beer reviews, and because I yak for longer than most other beer reviewers probably, no, not all beer reviewers, there's a certain beer reviewer out there who does 40 minute beer reviews every single review. But he, he obviously does a lot of background work on his, you know, and in such detail that it's like a, it's like a history lesson about the brewery. It's interesting going down the, um, the single hop route, like with Mosaic. Uh, using the base pale ale, but using mosaic in that base, um, yeah, it uh, it shows off what the hops are, and the, and you know the hops are the king. You know they give the flavors, and that, unless you use essences, but that, then they give the flavors that uh, we all become accustomed to. Tasting lovely. This, in any of the Blue Monkey pubs on keg, um, would be a welcome addition to the bar. Um, it's light. The ABV is low, which appeases, you know, at the government. <coughs> Don't get me started. Hey, duties. <laughs> yeah. Let's look after the big breweries. Never mind the smaller breweries. But it's tasting good, you know, it's a nice beer, it's a nice, easy drinking beer from them. Um, I do know that this year, as far as I know, don't quote me, uh, Blue Monkey Brewery are doing, um, they're not doing an advent calendar, they did last year. They're not doing it this year, they're doing 12 beers of Christmas, a core range at 12 beers of Christmas, and then a big craft beer. Advent calendar, uh, 12 beers of Christmas. 12 beers of Christmas starts obviously from Christmas Day. And, uh, you know, yeah, drink your beers afterwards. I need to make sure that I'm off for 12 days. I could do with four weeks off at the moment. I think I probably could do with a lot of women, but there you go. Um, cut me all. So there you go. There's the end of the can gone in. Slightly more hazier. I'm not sure if that's the intended look of the can. It's always the thing, isn't it? You know, with a can that's been sat on the shelf for maybe a week or so, it's the right temperature this time. It's as cold as a fridge in here. Don't know, I know. Absolutely frozen. But, uh, yeah. And it is their latest release, as far as I know. And uh, I have heard on the great van there might be some special releases coming out. So if you're a Blue Monkey fan, keep your eye out on socials. Um... These days, if you like a certain brewery, you have to put it as favourite as first because you will not see them. I don't see, literally don't see anything from most of the local breweries. And then I look because I think, well, what's up with this brewery? Why is it not putting something out? And all of a sudden, there's loads of stuff that I've never seen. And it, Facebook, Instagram and all these social medias, they're so random at the moment. And uh, it's all about looking after the advertisers and not looking after the, the actual businesses. And, um, you know, those who actually do positive. Oh, good whack of flavour at the end. Ooh. So, the big question. 
Would I drink this again? Yes, yes. I'd love to drink this on keg in any of the Blue Monkey pubs. Certainly um, Canyon Circus, because I think Canyon Circus, being in Nottingham City Centre, or on the outskirts, is probably the better place um, and to, to, to market itself as a both a craft and keg bar. Um, although the keg's that far away from the cellar, yeah, you might lose a bit of pintage, so maybe not a good thing. And that's a difficult thing, isn't it, with, with any pub. Um, and if you don't know, then go to your pub and ask, where, where are you casking kegs? And then they'll, if they tell you, oh, it's 60 feet below, it's a long way to get your beer up, and there's a lot of beer to lose every single time you change. Um, but in any case, Would I drink it again? Hell yes. Out of five. Good 4.4 .4 out of five for me. Very nice beer from Blue Monkey Brewery. And I will be keeping out on socials uh, regards to what's coming out at Christmas. I'm ready for Christmas. <clears throat> Two weeks off work. Jobs are good. Thank you for watching. See you soon.